shortage of volunteers. No shortage of patriots. I know you understand. Team, sit back. Moving through deck two. No sign of it. There's more to the ship than we thought. Broadcast station. It's beneath us. Shit! Shit! Dragovich is starting the broadcast. Command, this is Alpha One. We have confirmed that Rusalka is the broadcast source. Bring in the airstrike. We're on our way out. Not yet. We need to find Dragovich. In less than 15 minutes, the U.S. Navy is going to blow this place apart. I made the mistake of not confirming the kill five years ago at Baikonur. You sure you're still not brainwashed? Would it matter? The son of a bitch needs to go down once and for all. Get out of here, Weaver. We're gonna finish this. Hudson. 
see the buoys. They have the transmit from the surface. That's why we could never find the broadcast source. The structure below us. It's more than... Contact down. Yeah, roger that. Reloading, watch my six. Contact down. He's dead. That's confirmed. Dragovich. You should have been my finest agent. It would have all been so much simpler. Dragovich! Kill you! Try to fuck with my mind! You don't know anything! Start to turn at me! Gets my own! So I can make you kill my own president! Right? <sighs> Mason, this way! Go, 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 go! This place is falling apart! You did what I could not.
He's just a sad old man talking to himself. Let him talk. satirical reimagining of modern Southern California. Covering mountains and oceans, expensive stores and strip malls, urban decay and untouched wilderness, beaches and backwoods, the sublime and the ridiculous, greed and hypocrisy. You tell me exactly what you want, and I will very carefully explain to you why it cannot be. What? So what are we doing here? We're working, amigo. For the first time, the game features not one, but three would-be heroes. So now what? Michael, a once successful bank robber, and now less successful family man. You know, you're a real asshole. What did you just say to me? Stop it! You're ruining my yoga! Franklin, a hungry street hustler convinced he's surrounded by morons. You can't repo the assets of a dead man, big sick and cheap asshole. And then there's Trevor. Fuck. The less said about him, the better. Ah! Introducing three lead characters transforms both the narrative into one interwoven story and the structure of individual missions. Players can cut between vantage points. Yeah, I can use a little backup here. And from one high octane moment to another. Got you. He's got support! Get us out of here! Roger that! This helps to give missions new levels of diversity and intensity. Damn. When not on a mission, the use of three lead characters also allow for a touch of voyeurism. As you can drop in at any moment and find out what your new friends have been up to as they go about their days. Jeez, Pop. Too much more of that and maybe I won't be dead by 35. The world is not only huge, it's packed with a vast array of things to see and do. Cars to customize, planes to fly, clothes to buy, sports to play, nirvanas to pursue, 
oceans to dive. Animals to spot, hunt, and be hunted by. Freaks to watch, meet, and befriend. Now get the hell out of here! Bounties to hunt. And on and on. How have you been? Oh, simply wonderful. And you? Somewhere stuck between joyful and peachy. There's also been a huge focus on mechanics in the game to make every aspect as fun and fluid as it is broad. Everything from driving and shooting to tennis and bike riding feels fun and responsive. However, alongside all of this leisure, people also have to take care of business. For all their pretensions, these men are dangerous thieves. It's an industrial area, right? So I'm thinking vehicles. Trash truck to block, tow truck to sack. To survive, they have to set up and pull off a series of increasingly audacious heists. Gentlemen, some plans for your attention? The player sets these up themselves, then decides how they execute them and with whom. There's two ways I see of doing this. We go in smart, let's go. Or we go in loud and dumb. Let's go! This is your moment! Please don't make me ruin all the great work your plastic surgeons have been doing! After the take is divided, you decide what to spend your money on. Anything from sensible investments, like tattoos and fast cars, to risky ventures like stocks and Los Santos real estate. And then there's Grand Theft Auto Online, which we will show you properly soon. We stopped it. We stopped the launch. I'm gonna get you out of here. Stay with me. This is your last chance! Show me what you're made of! Fight it! Fight it! Imagine yourself. What's your name, soldier? In a frozen forest. I said, what's your name? Taylor. Bravo secure. 
everything on me. Every shot counts. Enemy strike team deploy. Salter! I can't do that, Nick! Nora, finish the mission! That's an order! Side weapons free! All stations! Warship is green to engage! <laughs> Reports of POW camps in the area. Davis has ordered us to wait for authorization before conducting a sweep. After leaving the bridge on our mission east, we searched camps along the way. I thought I knew what cruelty was. I didn't know anything. But one thing's for certain. <clears throat> Last one. Looks more like a labor camp. These were our guys. Take out your camera. 
The world's gotta know. They had them living worse than animals. From the looks of it, they were beaten. The Nazis had murdered our boys in cold blood, and no fire in hell could burn away the stain. They'd slaughtered the weakest, anyone that was slowing them down. I made a promise to Zussman. We'll find him, I just can't guarantee we'll find him alive. Sergeant, I'll take point. Zussman! Everything's coming full circle. All I'd done, all I wish I'd done. It's like my whole life is leading to this moment. We need to head home, baby brother. died right there in the snow. All because I couldn't. Couldn't. Damn it. I'm coming, Zussman. You're not gonna... Zussman! having your brothers beside you. When history called, you answered. From all walks of life, you came to defend peace and freedom. I thank you, and the world thanks you. Wherever your path takes you, know this. You will always be amongst a brother. Is it, fellas? Zussman wanted you to have it. And you'll need it more than me. If you're ever in Chicago, <laughs> I'll get there. Oh, yeah, maybe I'll surprise you in Longview first. You're welcome anytime. You know, when they captured us, it wasn't just our freedom that they took. Even though we were together, and we were alone, looking for any way to survive. But you, you could have gone home a hero. Why'd you come back? I saw that life. Just couldn't live it. To the end. To the end. as creators as they take the time to add little details that not only impress but also further immerse you in their fully realized open world western there's plenty to choose from but we've collected a handful of tiny things in red dead redemption 2 that make it feel like such a believable recreation of the if you kill someone and remain hidden lawmen will show up and remove the bodies Dead bodies have a full decomposition system. They will rot, attract bugs, and eventually leave only bones behind. Arthur's hair can be uniquely styled in a plethora of ways. Because he's not a barber, you'll need to visit one to change your hairstyle. Your beards have their own physics and are affected by wind. Weapons get dirty and clogged and require maintenance to be at peak performance. Outfits are incredibly customizable. You can wear sleeves rolled up or decide whether or not to tuck your pants into your boots. Dutch mentions his mother passed during the story and you can find her grave in the game. Fellow gang members will loot dead bodies, so be sure you get to them first. You can wear the skins of animals you killed as a hat. If your horse gets covered in mud or dirt, it'll affect how fast it is. Arthur will change how he talks to a horse based on its sex. Sorry girl, you're alright boy. If Arthur is covered in blood or mud, people will comment on how he looks. Hey, you ever heard of a bat? Hello there. If you get snow on your clothes and go to a warmer area, it will melt. 
You can double tap L1 when putting away your gun to add a little style. Holding up on the D-pad when robbing someone will allow you to shoot into the air, adding to your intimidation factor. Horses poop. If your horse goes from a cool area to a warmer one, they will emit steam as they warm up. If you fight with an animal, you'll acquire rips and tears in your clothing. If your horse dies, they do not come back, you'll have to find a new one. Should you end up in a shootout, you can tell your horse to flee an area to stay safe. If you skin an animal, you can see their exit wounds. If you throw a dead animal over your shoulder, it'll leave blood marks on your jacket. If the air is cold, you'll see your character's breath. Snow will indent and shape dynamically as you walk through it. If a tree is covered in snow and you bump a branch, snow will fall off of that specific part of the tree. You can be mean to friends at your camp, but they won't put up with it for very long. Don't start this and slime with better manners. That's enough. Trying to be funny. Male horses have testicles and they will become smaller in cold weather. Arrows will wiggle when they stick to things, bounce off brick, and overpenetrate when they go into fleshy things. Sometimes when you get arrested, gang members will break you out of jail. I, I must moderate my approach to wine. If you harass NPCs in town for too long, other characters will defend them. Just what is your deal? Ah, I want to give up, do you? If you're in a boat and shoot the bottom, the boat will sink. Footsteps change depending on what shoes you wear and the surfaces you walk on. Footprints in the mud are different for humans and horses. Your clothing will only get wet up to the point where you entered the water. Light will shine through the ears of players showing cartilage. Pigs will eat dead bodies. If you rob someone in a store and injure them, they will show up with bandages a few days later. I will use an iron on you if you decide to wield them fists again. If lightning strikes in the distance, there will be a delay before you hear the thunder sound. If you punch your horse, it will fight back. Arthur pulls back the hammer with every shot of a revolver. Newspapers cover your robberies. Arthur does keep one of the clippings at camp. Arthur will comment on himself when looking at his reflection in the mirror. No wonder they all leave you. If you're dirty, Arthur will get grit under his fingernails. Bullets that hit metal will leave a shimmer of heat where they impacted. When hunting, your odor can affect your ability to sneak up on animals. You can pet dogs. Arthur will reload only the exact amount of bullets you fired from a revolver. Of course there are more, but those are just some of the little touches in Red Dead Redemption 2 that continue to show how much Rockstar cares about immersing you in their worlds. For more on interesting things to see in Red Dead Redemption 2, everyone else is dead.